Hello, hope you're having a great day. Victor here with VC Football, as always. On Monday, Barcelona released their annual financial report, and let's just say these numbers are terrifying. For starters, the Blaugrana now find themselves with a staggering $1.4 billion in debt. That's billion with a B. If you're like me and love numbers, then get comfortable because this is the video for you. Today we're gonna go through an in-depth analysis of Barcelona's financial situation and answer the question, is Barcelona on the verge of bankruptcy? Bartomeu may be gone, but wow did he leave a mess behind. Of that $1.4 billion in debt, $884 million of that must be paid in the short term, with $322 million of that debt having to be paid to the banks by the end of June. A further $562 million worth of debt repayments are also due in the short term, including $237 million owed to other teams for recent transfers. A little bit more on that later though, right now I want to talk about Barcelona's wage bill, which for 2020 ended with 74% of the club's entire income going to the players. Is it any wonder then that Barcelona was forced to sell so many of their players this last summer? Some of these players included the likes of Arturo Vidal, Ivan Rakitic, and Luis Suarez who all had to leave last summer in a desperate attempt to clear up some of these expenses. As if selling players for bargain basement prices wasn't bad enough, it seems to me like Bartomeu's entire transfer policy was to bring in players and then just push out any fees and debts that they owe for said players into the future for somebody else to clean up his mess. Because Barcelona still owes $35 million to Liverpool for the signing of Felipe Coutinho back in 2018. Ajax is still owed $19 million for the signing of Frankie de Jong back in 2019. $12 million are still due to Atletico Madrid for Griezmann. Another $12 million are still owed to Bordeaux for Malcolm. Gremio and Bayern Munich are also owed money for the signings of Artur and Arturo Vidal. The last three players I mentioned, all of that money is owed despite these players having now moved on to new teams. I mean, it's short-term thinking at its finest. Barcelona are frantically trying to negotiate deferrals to push some of those debts into the future. And to make matters worse, the Blaugrana is still without a president as the election was pushed to March by Carlos Tusquets, the current current interim president. In fact, interim club president Carlos Tusquets told Marca that the club was unable to pay players for a pre-agreed January salary. In that interview, he was quoted as saying, players won't receive their monthly payment for January. It has been postponed in the same way that others have been postponed, such as title winning bonuses. January's missed payments are expected to be paid in February, but the club could also be fined a large financial penalty for exceeding La Liga rules which state clubs cannot spend more than 70% of their income on player salaries. Let's go ahead and run through some questions here. Is it normal for a club to have so much debt with other clubs? In a word, yes, it is normal for transfer fees to be set over a course of time and paid in installments. But what's not normal is to have so many of those payments due, and especially with players that have left your club. Moving on now, does Barcelona need to sell players? Again, the answer to this is a resounding yes. Honestly, I feel like the best way to resolve Barcelona's issues at the moment would be to sell some of their biggest players. If they were to sell some of their bigger players, not only would they be able to get some cash on hand that they desperately need, but also if some of these bigger players were to go, these guys have some large salaries. So not only would you get cash in, you would have that salary expense off of your books. So for me, it's a win-win. Some of the players that would be included on this short list would be Antoine Griezmann, Ousmane Dembele, possibly Felipe Coutinho, even though they already tried to get him off of the books this past summer and nobody wanted him. Do you think Barcelona is on the verge of bankruptcy or do you think this can all be situated with the banks and the debts can be pushed out into the future? Or do you think it would be best for Barcelona to just start from scratch, 
sell some of these big players with big salaries, maybe focus more on La Masia potentially, and bring in some of those youth players and develop them over time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We are almost to 1,000 subscribers, guys, so thank you so much for all the love and support. Huge giveaway is planned as soon as we hit that milestone. Hit the like if you enjoyed the video, share this with a friend, and as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.